fireballs. Not that. <laughs> What's that, Capricorn? <laughs> <laughs> but it was all weather dependent tonight for some of the things. It was, it was. Actually, I stayed up a little bit late and then also woke up early as we had the showers and thunderstorms that moved through, causing a lot of flooding issues out there. Uh, temperatures also stayed a little bit subdued rather than making it up to the average high temperature today, which is 83. We stayed at 80 degrees. So that's not bad. At least we made it into the 80s because we began the morning in the low 70s. So we didn't climb all too much, all about 12 degrees between, uh, let's say, maybe about 8, 9 a.m. to about about maybe 3 p.m. this afternoon. We came in under an inch of rainfall. You can see there at the top right of your screen, 0.81 recorded at Cleveland Hopkins today. Sunrise is 619. Where are you laughing at, Lena? I'm sorry, they're <laughs> laughing in the control room over fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, some people are probably having fireballs tonight. Um, it's still a little bit early, though. 69 degrees recorded at Cleveland Hopkins right now. North winds at 5 to 10. We've changed the tide, Northeast Ohio, 59 degree two dew point temperature right now, which is excellent because we were in the low 70s the past couple days or so with a lot of humidity out there. So that was just some ground clutter that you saw. As far as the bigger picture on satellite and radar, we're still dealing with that area of high pressure back towards the south and west. So you can kind of see these storms just riding right along that ridge and going deep south into the Tennessee River Valley area. This is all because that trough is in effect for us, so providing us with cooler air as it settles on in, but that area of high pressure keeping that heat outside of our area. So we don't have to worry about the sort of high humid air air mass that we had the past couple days or so. We still have a lot of 90s still down in Texas, even some mid to upper 80s. Heat index values are still in the 90s from the deep south over to the southeast. But because we have that trough in place for us, we got some 60s, even some 70s, and there's the front. It is now safely past us right now, still calling some issues down towards the mid-Atlantic, even some flooding concerns moving through portions of New England this afternoon into the evening hours, even some water eroding some roadways over in the uh, Boston metro area. In terms of our weather conditions, it was a real Really, really loud early morning hours for us in Northeast Ohio last night. Look at all that rain that moved through between 5 and 9 a.m. And even we got another boundary that moved through roughly around 10, 11 a.m. that carried us to about 1 p.m. with some residual light showers, even around 2 to 3 p.m. this afternoon. We had a lot of flooding issues of reported south across uh, Tuscarora and even Carroll County coming in over four inches of rainfall. This is the last 12 hours, two, two and a half. You can see south there, south of Akron and Canton, Wayne County, Erie, Huron County, two and a half for you. We roughly got maybe around an inch or so here in Cuyahoga Lake and Geauga County and just about a half inch or so over towards uh, Ashtabula County. So here's your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast for the rest of the evening. Some areas getting down to the 50s, a much, much relief for us versus the last couple days. Through the day tomorrow, there could be some hit and miss pops that are likely happen. Maybe an ice at thunderstorm or two. It is really not going to be severe, but of course, you're going to stick with that pattern with that troughing happening here. But overall, we're going to remain in the 70s for afternoon highs on Sat or Sunday. And even by Monday, we wake up, dare I say, maybe there could be a couple 40s well inland. Yeah, we're going to be doing that again. So we're at a little bit of a downward turn starting us out early next week, but lots of sunshine. We're going to keep that north breeze around and even into the afternoon. I think we're again going to stay in the 70s again. A couple runs of some pops in the afternoon far north and also east, but again, not going to be tornadic, nor is it going to be a bit on the severe side. Here's that Union Home Mortgage 7. I'm going to stick with 7 for you tonight. We're not going to go with 10. Look at our temperatures remaining in the 70s, not just for tomorrow, but also on Monday, likely on Tuesday. Low 80s expected by Wednesday. Mid 80s expected there on Thursday. Maybe a couple pops here and there, but that's where our another frontal boundary arrives through by the end of the week next week. But again, not bad, not expecting 90s again. Lena? All right, thanks, Jason.